Okay, we're going to talk about the microchip application libraries and where to download the MAL, the microchip application libraries, where to download it, where the files are. And in this case, we're going to talk about mTouch, which is microchip's capacitive touch. So to download the libraries, you go to microchip.com slash MAL. And you'll come to this page, Microchip Application Libraries. Scroll down the page, and here you can see the web links. These are not for download. These are really the documentation for the release notes and information on the, on the software stacks. The one we want to talk about uh, later on, which is the mTouch Capacitive Library. It's one great big download, which is over 220 meg long, and it can be downloaded here. Microchip application libraries. So download that executable. It will install on your C root drive. Uh, once installed, you can then go to your uh, Windows and hit Start All Programs and go to the libraries which is here, as you can see here, it's Microchip V 2012 0403, so April, um, April 3rd. Now be aware that we update our libraries probably every three or four months, so there may be a new version of library out in the next couple of months. We're always improving the libraries. And the library and the framework uh, we're specifically talking about today is the mTouch capacitive library here, and you can see we can get help straight away from the mTouch library. Overview, getting started, what all the files are for, all the examples. You can have a browse through there uh, and the API reference. And for the getting there again so to click start microchip um, 2012 April 3rd back to the uh, mtouch libraries you can see here we can go to the framework there's some other example code here let's go to the framework documentation and it gives you help on getting started, how to optimize performance, supported microcontrollers, su supported compilers that are required, what other resources are needed, and the sensors and the speed, and the required source files to get you started uh, doing capacitive touch. You can also browse to the root directory of the libraries. I'll just expand this up a bit here. So you can go to microchip, you can see where this file help resides. You can see it resides on the C root drive, microchip solutions, 2012, April 3rd, and then under microchip, help, help, um, CVD help, etc. So if we just go back, back, delete, 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 back to the microchip solutions folder, you will see that there are many different folders here for help and exam examples. Here are the mTouch capacitive demos. You see we've got some PIC24 and PIC12 demos. Let's look at the PIC12 demos. And it actually tells you which board. You can see it's the PIC12F1 uh, sensor with a UART board. And here you can see the, the code. Uh, for a part of the examples and the documentation. Here's a two sensor board. You can see the project files. So there's lots of examples to get you going. The only thing you'll need to do is make sure you've got the right board or configure the software for the microcontroller that you need to use. 
Okay, hopefully that's a good start for you. Um, if you have any questions, give me a buzz. Thank you.